another day, another Russian reunification. Today we will be playing as the Kazani. You might think, oh, he's gonna unite all of Central Asia. No, no, my dude. Look at this handsome dude. That's what I'm gonna go for, pretty much. That is what I need. Rasputin will rise again. Never mind the fact that the Tsar is dead. Doesn't exist. We'll make it happen either way. So we need to set up our... No, everything, pretty much. We have airplanes, not really. Tanks, not really. So, mostly we'll focus on all of this. Beauty. We do have a pretty decent amount of troops though. I'm very happy with that. Well, let's sit back and relax. I like how we are the Kazan the district. Our captain is over uh, our capital is all the way over here in the corner. Nothing too special. We're gonna go in here, right? Thing is, what is this accelerationist? Rasputin? I've actually no idea. Oh no, it's reactionary most likely. So, we'll have to wait until we're actually able to do that. We'll, we'll wait with taking political choices and government positions until we completely become madmen. Though I'll never say no to Chief of Army yet. It'll help us get our experience, it'll help us get our bold attack up. We'll take the risk, come on. Alexander Dutov dies, good. Now, all that's left is choosing between Eurasian Ideocracy and Rasputin. And of course, the Battle of Kazan goes to Rasputin. He does look very old, though. Old, though. Not gonna lie. It's like Gandalf the Grey, pretty much. Except somehow even more senile. What the hell is this Shrek haircut? I kinda wanna play him as well. Oh, the Peasant Republic. Now, what's that all about? Scythia. See, now that is actually incredible. I kind of want to do that at well at some point. Let's get ourselves some factories, even though we're building it up. But as you can see, our industry's got awful. Oh, Novorossiya. Is that always here? I don't think it was. Was it? Hmm. Kind of want to see them win. Not going to lie. Just to see what happens. They might. Who is the Mongolian people are? Oh, he's a Russian one, apparently. And again, so is this dude. They're all in the times of trouble. I'm feeling like the Novorossian government's gonna win. I'm looking at it currently. Oh! Was that always there? I don't know. Or maybe they just switched colors. Because they're no longer loyal to the Russians. Both in the time of troubles are at minus 30% surrender limit, so... It's currently a stalemate. And I, I don't know who I want to win. They're both probably gonna dislike me heavily. For being real, knowing my luck, they'll hate my guts. Oh, okay. The world sees us as devils, so be it. Now, that sounds worrying, but I, I'm i just gonna <laughs> go with that anyway. Too late to uh, turn back now. The way I'm looking at it, right? I should probably go after the Cossacks first. Let's park my army in here. Let's also check. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Supplies atrocious. Let's try and fix that, huh? Oh, we're only hit. We can't really choose, I guess. So it doesn't even matter. We can only do these ones. Which is fine. Russian peasant? What? Oh, well, you do borders, I guess. You know what? We'll make you perish first, then. We'll make you perish first. Do we have a brilliant strategist? We actually do. I'm very surprised. Look at that. We got extra troops now. Isn't that lovely? Though, same as in here, supplies are atrocious. But, well, we're hoping we can fix that. So are you fabricating us normally? No. They probably did, yeah, a focus. But they're not feeling very confident in declaring war on us. That's okay. If you don't want to declare war on us, we'll declare war on them. We're good. Now, we'll press this button. We'll be able to kill them off, hopefully. There we go. Our people are... Wait, oh, damn it. That's annoying. We can't do these focuses unless we're at peace. Well, the car I want to go into Tsaritsyn. Yeah, let's go, let's go. All the way down to Rostov. Follow the roads, please. It'll make it a lot quicker. There you go. Down to their new capital in Ekaterinador. Oh, never mind. It got stopped, sadly. And we're not doing most of the works... I'm afraid they're not going to flip to us. Let's try anyway, right? Maybe we can make something happen anyway. 
46. Oh yeah. It flipped to us anyway. That is beautiful. We are putting our troops in here just in case. Oh, all right. Good first step. We can integrate that all and attack the Kafkazis in 14 days. Oh yeah, by then the folks will be done. We need to be at peace for all of them, man. There's no point to doing the next one. Let them attack instead. Beautiful. Even get a port. That is impressive more. Anything. Counterattack in here, maybe. Good. And hopefully encircle them in Azerbaijan. Make some progress like that at least. It seems to be working. Might as well go in here. Yeah. Good. These ones are cut off forever. Do you also have the troubles, my dude? You do. Which will make annihilating them a lot easier. Okay, get in here first and foremost. Keep these dudes in check, please. Annihilate them all, please. Ooh. All of these troops are gonna be dead forever. There go these three troops instantly dead. Same in here. Casualties must be incredible. 41%? Yes. Oh, they're actually almost dead. Well, just, just keep pushing in then. See? As I said, that should finish them off. Go we'll after Turkestan next, hopefully, right? Integrate. Attack Siberia. No, oh, Siberia. Well, I'd like to, but not right now, maybe. Jelta Rasia. Wait, what? What about the steps? I guess I can't just yet. Well, okay then. I guess if we can't attack the hordes, we will instead attack Siberia. Yeah, we'll go after Siberia. I don't have that many units just here. Let's make a bunch of horses for now, right? Just frontline fillers more than anything. And then once we actually have anything worthwhile, We'll, uh, we'll switch them to infantry units. Come on, my dudes. Move in, boys. <laughs> Look at that. There's no resistance to us yet. Just yet. Wait, what? Oh, they won against the, the, the war, it seems. Good for them, I suppose. Now, Shelter Asi is also going after the Siberians, but we'll be there first. Don't you worry, child. I'm just kind of scared of the Russians. They seem to be going after... Oh, I was going to say after the... The Finnish, which are gonna be coming, which are in the process of becoming Egyptian Nazis. Which, you know, in this, in the scope of this mod makes. And we won once more. Our borders could be a bit bad. Our, our supplies are mostly connected. We should connect it some more. There you go, 67 units. Not bad, right? When we can integrate the Conquer Terror. Yes. And of course. We will go after Jeltaresia. Marvin. Wait, what? Oh, they're just telling us we can do we declare war on everyone. Okay, so we're not fighting 50 million people at once. And they have Trotsky? God damn it. I want a Trotsky. You know what? I'll take him by force. You know what? Yeah, give me that. Thanks. There we go. We're declaring the war. We need a lot more factories, though. That's okay. How many troops did they have, actually? Less than us, but our troop quality is insanely, insultingly bad. No, attack, boys. Attack. Be very aggressive about it as well. That we may make them disappear forever. Uh oh. Russia finished the reunification with Finland. That's not good for us. Because that means they can go after us next. Can I please do a. Improve relations. Improve relations enough. I just need it for a little bit. I'll go after Jaltaresia. I'll finish up the war with Mongolia afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It scared me. I thought that was the war. <laughs> Ask for documents. Just a little bit more. Oh, no. It's going to be at zero, isn't it? Negotiating alliances isn't helping. I would guarantee independence. 
Yes, I fixed it. Non-aggression pact. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Times of troubles are not looking good for our boy. With the funny beard, which is like every communist leader, apparently. Oh, beautiful encirclements everywhere. Finish it up. They're closing up everywhere. Beautiful. Look at the amount of troops that they have in here. Nothing's gonna save you, buddy. This is the end. Oh, 170,000 casualties. And I've been aggressively pushing because I wanted to finish this as soon as possible. Protect myself against Russia. Well, Turkestan finally united most of the Central Asians. Although I'm guessing they're gonna go after the Emirates as well. I hope they go after me because I don't have a claim on them. But stop, I'd, I'd love to annihilate them. And incorporate them peacefully or maybe like not so peacefully. Oh, another point. Does it get... Yeah, it got worse. Good. Worse war economy. <laughs> Why would I not, right? It switched. There we go. Beautiful. The times of troubles got worse and worse for them until they just could not handle it anymore. Oh yeah, we don't have to go after Mongolia because we own all of it already. Huh. That's a shame. And there's nothing for the hordes, sadly. We just need Petrograd and then we'll have finished up everything. Yeah, I think that whole peace deal was gonna come to an end soon, huh? Oh, Turkestan took it all over. See, now I'm curious, are you gonna go after me or not? I hope so, honestly. I still have the non-aggression pact anyway. There we go, that should be good, right? Focus on supplies for now. But also, use trucks, please. Although we don't have enough trucks, apparently, to fully use. Oh, uh, no, it's okay. We almost have. Yeah, we're close to enough trucks. But they did it. Now what? They can become the Tsardom. And that's it. They're not gonna go after us, sadly. So maybe I should go after them. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. We had a non-aggression pact. Let me load up the previous save, brother. Put my dudes on the field, brother. Had I known that. <laughs> you just fucking ignored my uh, non-aggression pact. What the hell, bro? See? What the hell? Highly mean of you. There we go. That'll keep the boys off my lawn. God damn it. Am I fabricating claim anyway? I still want one. I'll make some units at some point to go after them. Oh, they didn't declare war anyway. So they could just break the non-aggression pact whenever they wanted to. It's kind of a mean thing to do, buddy. That means that they never actually garrisoned this shit. I could just annihilate them. Alright, let's go. That'll be heavy. Heavy on their toll. I do need like six or so in here to deal with the Crimean ones because I don't know if they actually have troops in there but I'd like to garrison it nonetheless it should be an easy territory to keep anyway yeah the way I'm looking at it I don't think they're oh never mind there you go at least we have some troops ready they, they completely left for some reason okay and let's move in then I don't know where they went but I'm, I'm happy about it, I guess. Look at that. How's it, how's it going? They're suffering troubles. That's pretty much the most important thing. Make them suffer enough troubles where they'll just capitulate way quicker. Yeah, encircle these boys. Good. Put them in here, right? Intercept them. Oh, good. Most of their... Attacks are getting inter intercepted. Proof of limited conscription, eh? So that 20% surrender limit there at 34 at this point. Good. Retreat the horse boys, please. There we go. It's not really tenable to hold this position, but we can hold just outside of Crimea at least. Be on the defensive until we can deal with them. Actually, now that we're here, let's make a collaboration government on them, huh? Finally pushing through. I was worried about like having a bunch of troops stocked up and being in that equipment deficit, but it turns out 
it was for the betterment of everyone. Look at that. We're pushing in just fine now. We might not even need all of that. My CP's done. How long do I have until it's... I don't know if I can finish until then, so I'll preemptively make another flame just in case the first one uh, goes away. Akiev and Belgorod, yes please. Close. Over halfway there. Minus 62%, so that makes sense. Uh, yeah, how about we go to Kursk? Odell, you know what they say, all roads lead to Moscow. That's pretty much what I want to be. I'm guessing they're going to stop me before I actually make that happen. <laughs> but maybe not. I'm just horsing around to Moscow. We didn't even need it. We did not even need it. But with that, we probably won't even need it for Kyrgyzstan. Because I'm guessing the CB, yeah, it's only August. CB isn't over yet. We don't even need the second one. Yeah, I'm gonna declare war. Now with that, my final focus. Let's go. We get a research slot just in time, huh? Are the troubles kicking in? Oh, they don't have troubles. Ah, okay. Because they're no longer a part of us, I guess. Never mind. Now they are a part of us once more. The question is now, will we get more we have reunited all of russia we get beautiful sounds angels sing while we destroy the infidel we can go after the intermario as well i'm not gonna all right relax please enough with the sounds I'm gonna get copyright claimed by the fucking 13th century angelic choirs. Sardom of Holy Russia. Beautiful. Might need more. Yeah, synthetic refineries, because we're not producing enough oil or rubber. Okay, so even though they say. You know what? They say we only declare one of the intermarium, we're actually declaring on the entire. Or Merlin, so I will make a fallback line for now. Um, in preparation for the inevitable war against these vile creatures. Oh, I will convert them. I will convert them. Ain't nobody gonna stop me. What the hell? I didn't see. Ah, there you go. Make a proper line, please. See, I don't want to form the provisional government of Mongolia. I kind of want to keep them. I'm just gonna keep them. And I'm just gonna straight up declare war on the intermarium. This is gonna take us a while. There we go, we declare war on everyone. I'm ready. Wait, what? Oh, I guess they're technically not into intermarium. But that's okay. I'll put these ones in here. Beautiful. You can you can just be like a separate little goal, okay? There we go. And you boys. What? Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, boys, in here, good, but I'll, of course, also I'll have to make one here. It's for some reason, it's all separate. There we go. Moving, boys. <laughs> no one's stopping me. Of course, everyone's embargoing me, but that's not my problem. It's done, the initial push. We just, uh, yeah, look at that. Attack as we normally do. Oh, Belarus about to fall. It's mostly Poland that we have to worry about in this alliance. What? North Ukraine? How did this happen? <laughs> I guess they peace- Wow! Oh! Belarus went to them for some reason. Yeah, well, we'll deal with them real quick, see? A temporary setback at most. We're even closing in on Warsaw. <laughs> oh. We took it all. Protected of no the northern lands. For some reason we got Ukraine's puppet, but not Ukraine itself. What the hell what kind of peace deal is this? Okay, then. It, it, it all went to Ukraine. Uh, wh what? You know what? Just integ integrate Belarus. We, we, we're not... Don't, don't pose too many questions. We'll destroy Poland and all flips to us. Anyway. Oh, Poland is so close. 91%. Just a few. Krakow is most likely going to be enough. And it is. United Russia has put down the Polish. 
we get to integrate our former lands and oh damn we can't that's a shame we can't core them because we're not the right country oh well it matters now look at that Rasputin has united the holy lands of Russia under one banner even the ones that don't technically belong to Russia have been assimilated by force Know that that is pretty much all the time I've left for today. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully, I'll see you next time, and hopefully, you have a nice day. Bye bye.